My name is Akiva Goldman. I'm an attorney from Goldman and Associates. My firm has a primary focus on family law issues here in Michigan. And today we're continuing our video series designed to educate and support the public. So please subscribe to our channel. Today we're going to talk about going through a divorce in conjunction with dealing with an addiction. It's hard enough going through a divorce without an addiction. If it turns out that you're suffering from an addiction and then you're served with papers, there's sort of a double impact there. It could be that the addiction is long-standing. It could be that you had the addiction during your courtship before the marriage. Some people struggle, struggle with addiction their whole lives in different forms. They overcome it sometimes and then they don't and back and forth. Sometimes it comes about suddenly. It could also be that the fact of the divorce and being served with the divorce is because of your spouse's inability to deal with your addiction. I mean, that could very well be. If you're facing a divorce all the while dealing with an addiction, you should definitely seek support in the way of the uh, therapeutic community, counselors, medical providers, anybody that can help you along with the addiction because there will be an impact on you uh, as it relates to the divorce because of the addiction. Don't think for a minute that the court is going to say, well, it's an addiction, it's a sickness, so therefore all things are equal. The court is not going to look at it the same as if you're getting a divorce and you have some other kind of illness, some other kind of non-chronic thing. The court is going to look at this because if it relates to children, how will uh, someone who's addicted handle custody, parenting time, support, transportation of minor children. It will impact your relationship with them and if the court has to determine a custody issue, don't think for a minute that all things being equal the court will not favor the other person because you're addicted to drugs and they're not. So it's very very important if you're being served with a divorce and for example there are children involved, you've got to show the court that you are taking steps to resolve the addiction, that you're getting the support and the help that you need, so that at least your attorneys can argue before the court, yes, my client suffers from an addiction, but he or she is getting help for it. They're in this program. Here's a, a report indicating that their prognosis is outstanding. So therefore, give us a custody ruling that takes this into account. At least, even if the court gives custody to the other person, the court will do so knowing that there is a, a possibility of uh, custody being changed or modified in the future once this issue resolves. And so, if you can't get a 50-50 custody, for example, because of your addiction, at the very least, get the court to stand the record, look, right now you're recovering from an addiction, your efforts are heroic. At this moment, I can't give you custodial legal rights, I can only give you parenting time or supervised, but I will consider modifying it once we can verify that your addiction problems are well under control. That gives you the open door to come back before the court at a later time and ask for modification. If you have any questions about that, reach out. We'll be glad to help you out.